Okay, first off, uh, on behalf of um, Ryan Duck and myself, I want to welcome everybody to the first annual Fergus Whalers Hockey Banquet. <laughs> for those who may not know me, uh, my name is Jason Beyer. I'm director of hockey for the organization. And I'm very excited and uh, honored to everybody here tonight at the Allure Legion Branch 229. In March of 2022 is when uh, it was announced, somewhere in March or April, it was announced that we were going to bring a team to Fergus. We were in the middle, actually, of the, the playoffs still. But in two years, you went from the announcement in you know, April of 2022 till March 24th of 24, and there's 1,100 people at the CW Sportsplex. So congratulations to everybody in this room for that. I kept, uh, I actually went last night and watched Nolan play for Woodstock last night, and I kept the puck, first ever puck goal scored by a whaler was Nolan Burnside and Mount Forest. And that was a big part of our year too, just think that that's the first for a lot of, a lot of things this season, right? Jack McDonald scored the game winning goal in our first ever game at Mount Forest. I thought it was actually pretty a tribute to having our captain score our first overtime goal. We reacted like we won the World Junior Championship. <laughs> But that's okay. That's what it was. It was making memories all season. It was it was awesome. And that's just a couple I wanted to mention off the off the top of the the night. And this puck here came from our home opener win against Mitchell 5-4. So I kept that one as well. Now one of had in my briefcase for a long time, and I kept on telling the kid I had it. But can Evan Hearn come up here, please? As I sometimes tell people, I didn't lose, I just didn't know where it was for a little bit. <laughs> so unfortunately, Dan and Dr. and the guys can tape it up for you, but this is his first goal in junior hockey was Evan Hearn's first goal against the Hanover Barons. <laughs> and this year's recipient most sportsmanlike is Jet Morningstar. Really, that's you. That's you. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of high expectations this season. Didn't really know what to expect, and came in and just yeah, like we got to work. We did a lot of good things throughout the season, and yeah, hopefully we can build on it next year. He joined into our group, and right away you could tell he played in both ends of the rink, worked very hard, and became one of our our leaders with our group. This year's recipient of top defensive forward is Jacob Lesser. In the last game against Hanover, with three seconds left, he was still back checking, trying to get the puck, and it, it was really incredible. Congrats. Thank you. All right. He joined our top line. Rookie of the year is Bo Brimmel. Congrats, bud. Great season. The boys are great. Thank you to Jason. Thank you to Dooley for putting on a great season for us. It was a great first year with the boys. Uh, this year's recipients are Kyle Parsons and Zach Noah. Congrats, Congrats, Congrats. This was good because you know last year I really wanted to just enjoy it with the with the team. A uh, great group of guys. I just really loved being in it. It was a great last year. Nothing else you could have asked for. Like the guys in the room, the coaching staff, like anything that they do for us. It's just, it was one hell of a year. 
and we were extremely excited that Ty decided to play for the Fergus Whalers, and he's this year's recipient of top points in regular season. Ty Anson Molina. Thank you. In the first year in Fergus was a good time, like with all the new guys and met new friends and everything. Uh, from the first time Jason called me and I had no idea who he was, uh, just the whole year was good and uh, too bad it was cut short early. Next up here with our first annual uh, Fergus Rares Banquet is our Coaches Award. And uh, we, we want to make this part of our yearly awards and there's um, obviously the coaches award to go to this player for different reasons but mostly about commitment to the team and and willing to do anything that it takes supportive with ideas and this player you know four games in the season was asked to change positions and did it without any you know problem with it and, and worked very hard and understood it and arguably down the stretch was one of our better players. So congratulations JJ Levine on this year's Coaches Award. There he is over there. Come on up JJ. Congratulations. JJ played forward all his life until about five months ago and told he wasn't playing forward anymore. Congrats. This year's recipient, dual recipient, um, is Ryan McDougal and Mark Pazowski. <laughs> These two were both our 06s this season, and we are very proud of both of them, very well deserved. They improved throughout the course of the season and fit right in all the way along and played in key situations for us throughout the key course of the year, so well deserved, fellas. And this individual um, scored some goals for us at a well needed time. He led us when we didn't have sometimes much going on that evening. He stuck with it. Ty Ansel Molini is our regular season MVP. Congratulations, Ty. Come on up. I'm excited for next year. Uh, this year was good and just looking forward to making uh, next year even better. He was the first ever whaler. He stood on his toes for the most of the series versus Walkerton and Hanover. It gives us all great honor to designate Bradley Bowville as our playoff MVP. Congratulations, buddy. Appreciate it. Our first annual Whaler Award. And this this player um, didn't we weren't wasn't part of our team at the very start of the year. And uh, once we acquired him, he quickly became a leader of our a leader of, of our group, very supportive to all players, communicated very well. And we had no uh, problem awarding Tyler Ewell with our first ever Whaler Award. Congratulations, bud. Thanks. Thanks for having me, bud. When you're building a hockey team and it's your first year, your OAs are very, very important. And we couldn't have been luckier than the five gentlemen we had. Who's the first one he got there? Connor Bradley. So, Connor Bradley. Sabs? No, Sabrin. Sabs, as I said earlier, thank you so much. We appreciate everything. Your understanding, your hard work, your leadership. Karaoke Parsons. Ice, ice baby, huh? You know it. 
Kyle, tremendous. Zach, no, whose mom made those towels. Come on, how good were those towels? Yeah. Let's be honest, probably the most sentimental one up here is Jack. He becomes our captain. He's a local kid. He gets injured. Not something he was planning for. Continues to battle, works hard, is our captain, keeps the team together. And we just couldn't be more excited and thankful for what you brought to our team, Jack. I know it wasn't an easy decision to come back, but we certainly appreciated and valued it every minute of the, of the road with you. This is a little token of our appreciation of, of your commitment to us and what you meant to the Whaler program. Thank you. Thanks everyone for coming out and supporting our games. It, it means a lot when everyone shows up and thanks to the whole staff for putting together a program that, that gave us a great first year. Successful, rewarding, um, very grateful for, for every, everybody and everything that happened in our first season. When you're building a team from scratch like we did, ultimately it takes a village and um, I was blessed to have a great management staff, great coaching staff and a tremendous player group this season in Fergus that made our season a success. We met our each challenge as hard as we could and I'm very proud of the group. A, a, a big sincere thank you to our group, Darren. They, you know, as I said tonight at the banquet, uh, they're a special, special group. Um, not just because it's the first year being Whalers, but because of the group that they became. Um, the individuals, they left their, their you know, ego at the doors. They played for the front of their jersey, not their back. An inspiring group on and off the ice. Uh, I can't thank them enough. They know how much I feel about them, and I look forward to the future. Coops Trywall, Todd Cooper, Rob Speak, thank you for your support. They're our main sponsor. Darren Stevenson at 519 Sports, thank you very much for your support. All the community, the, go the Goofy Noofy, you know, the Offside Bar and Grill, um, all of our key sponsors that support us throughout the season, thank you. Uh, we greatly appreciate that and we, we expect and, and hope for your sponsorship in the future. I want to make sure I thank, you know, Ryan Duck. He, he's been my right hand man since day one. Uh, you know, Ryan and I are, are together on this since day one and I can't thank him enough for his support and hard work and efforts. And again, my staff, Craig Duell, tremendous golf guy that's put his heart and soul into the team. Excited about building our strong team of the next season and our coaching staff, Ryan Black. Mark Martin, Jeff Hosler, and, and Randy Coverdale. Tremendous individuals, great coaches. Thanks, fellas.